Hi there, this is Matt Filio in the studio, uh, here to talk to you today about Steemit. Uh, what is Steemit, and can it be used to build a following and to actually make money as an artist? Um, if you're an artist and you're looking for maybe a different social media platform to get involved with, uh, maybe if Facebook or Twitter or Instagram isn't getting you uh, the success or the followers that you'd like to see, and you're interested in looking at something a little different, I think you ought to check Steemit out. Um, I've been on Steemit for a little over a week now, and I've already built uh, over 70 followers, I believe, and actually made some money doing it, which is nice. Uh, you don't go into Steemit assuming you're going to get rich quick, um, but it is possible to actually make some money and to uh, build a following, which is the most important thing. Uh, but let me talk to you more about Steemit and what it is. I'm going to switch over to my desktop and I'm going to give you a little glimpse into it right now. Okay, so here is my actual page on Steemit. And what I, what I said before is Steemit is um, a platform, a social media platform uh, for anybody with ideas to share their content, make contributions, and actually get paid um, re with rewards that can be converted over to actual US dollars. Um, so it's a really unique concept. Um, it's uh, built on the Steemit or the Steam blockchain network. And I'm not gonna go into detail explaining how that works is actually I don't understand it very well. I've only been on this platform for about a week. But if you'd like to learn all the intricate details as far as how Esteemit works, um, cryptocurrencies and that kind of thing, I would recommend to you uh, Jerry Banfield. And you can go uh, check out his website, Jerry Banfield, just like it sounds, Jerry, B-A-N-F-I-E-L-D.com. And he actually has a free course you can take on learning uh, how to do Steemit. Uh, super energetic, fun guy. Uh, definitely recommend him as a resource for learn learning how to use Steemit. But anyhow, this is my page. And I've been on here, like I said, for about a week. My uh, brother-in-law introduced me to Steemit. And he said, you really should check this out. Uh, he, he's a homesteader. And so he blogs about his homesteading experiences uh, in Arkansas. And he actually is making some money doing it. He's made about a thousand dollars in a in the space of about a month. I've been on here for about a week. Haven't done quite that well, but you know I've made a little money. And the main thing is not going in it with a mindset of I'm going to try to get rich quick, but rather I want to build a following and just see this as another venue uh, to get out my work to the public and build, build a following, you know, uh, get some patrons of my work, um, possibly get some students to teach my classes too, because I, I do teach uh, realistic acrylic portrait painting. Um, but I put on a few posts. I put on 82 posts, and those actually don't signify all unique posts, but every time uh, you make a comment on somebody else's post, that counts as a post. And so I've done 82 posts uh, within a week and that's really just you know one or two unique posts uh, from myself every day in addition to comments that I've made to other people as well uh, but here's a listing of some of my posts and so the first thing you want to do if you want to get started on Steemit I would recommend just go right to the Steemit website steemit.com s-t-e-e-m-i-t.com check it out you don't have to commit to anything in fact you don't pay anything at all uh, to get started but if you really just want to kick the tires and check it out and see what it's all about um, just go to the website and look at some of the posts that are already there see what you think of the content uh, if you like what you see you can go ahead and, and click the buttons on the top to open an account we'll ask you a few questions and it'll take you anywhere from a an hour maybe to a day to get approved and they'll send you then a link via email uh, with your own unique password and you need to save that password because they cannot recover it it's a very long password um, and you'll just you'll need to save that somewhere uh, that it would get um, 
you know, taken by internet thieves or whatever. So just keep that safe. But uh, getting back to the page here. So my first post was um, new to Steam and I'm an artist excited to share. And they recommend that you uh, use a tag, just like, you know, with uh, Instagram or Twitter, you use tags. Um, you, you get up to five tags per post and there's different categories. You know, you can post to art, you can post to painting, uh, you can post a drawing, uh, maybe to life or something else that specifically applies to your work as an artist. Um, but anyhow, the first post you do, you post it to the tag called introduce yourself, all one word. And that gets it out there in that particular section of the Steemit blog. And my first post uh, did $12.60. And that value fluctuates. It might go up, it might go down. Um, and it all depends on how people value your content. So you actually get paid um, monetary rewards for the value of your content. And that's amazing because uh, Facebook, Twitter, and other social media sites, they make you pay uh, to have your work seen by your audience. And a lot of times, you post something on Facebook and it doesn't get seen by the people that are actually signing up to see your content. And that's, that's a shame. Um, but here on steam it, if people sign up to see your content, they're following you. Uh, that's the first thing they'll see on their page. And again, uh, you can know how people value your content based on the monetary rewards and also on some of the comments. So this is a first post I did just introducing my art showing a picture of me working in the studio, um, painting on one of my, my portraits. And I might have written a little too much, you know, because sometimes people don't want to wade through a lot of text. As an artist, I recommend keeping your posts actually kind of brief and just putting an image or two of your work, uh, painting uh, completed, and then maybe in progress shots of you working on the painting so people can see your steps and how you arrived at the final product. Um, but just a few images and a little bit of text, a few paragraphs, I probably put in too much. But nevertheless, you know, I put in quite a few images and people liked it. And, you know, I got a nice handful of, of comments right away. Um, you know, maybe uh, 10 to 15 comments. And it's, it's very nice to see that response from one post. Um, and so I can go in and click off of here and then here's some of my other posts and some of them made, you know, 15 cents, 16 cents, 19 cents. Um, here's one that I re-steamed and re-steaming means you're actually reposting somebody else's post to your page. It's like sharing on Facebook, sharing it to your timeline. And so I reposted uh, a post by my sister-in-law who's been on Steam It for just about a week, like myself. And she's a very talented pianist and opera singer. And she posted something showing how she sang an opera song with the lyrics and a video of what she did. And she actually made over 90, I'm sorry, 90 cents in this post. This is the one up here that she made $91 on one post. It can depend on, on how people value it. This particular post here actually made over $90. And that's not bad for being on Steam It for one week. Now, I didn't do quite that well, but I'm very thankful uh, for one of my posts that actually is up to $54.16. And so this is showing an image of a drawing I did back when I was 15. This is one of my first uh, pencil drawings, although actually it was done in black colored pencil. And people really liked it. I didn't write a whole lot about it, just a paragraph or two. And I had a lot of nice comments right away. People upvoted it. And you can upvote content with Steemit, just like you would with Reddit or Quora. A very, very social driven network. Um, and then if you have people that have more influence on Steemit, and they're called whales, uh, the people that are just kind of starting out, the newbies are called minnows. But the people with a lot of influence that have been on Steemit for a while, uh, they've contributed a lot of value, and 
they, they just have a lot of influence. Uh, they're called whales, and if they upvote one of your posts, your posts can go up in value exponentially. Um, and I think that's what happened with this particular post here. And it went up to over uh, $50. So it's at $54 right now. So very, very thankful for that. And I posted a couple other things since then. And they're, you know, one's at seven cents, one's at 54 cents. And one is only at a penny. Um, and that particular video didn't seem to uh, connect with people as much. And that's where I'm showing a, a video of a critique I did for a student. So it seems that at this time, um, posting images of your work might be the best way to go. And that's the simplest and easiest thing for you to do as an artist. Uh, so I would recommend that. Just take uh, images that you already have. It's super, super easy. After you get your account approved and you do your, well, your initial post, I'll show you even a little bit how to do that. But this is what it looks like. Uh, the page that you would use to submit a post. It's very easy. Um, I have a um, WordPress.org site, mattfilio.com, and there is a huge learning curve in learning how to use WordPress. Uh, but this is way, way easier. Uh, you don't need to know HTML. Uh, you can do a post just simply with text and images. Um, but if you use Markdown, it's a very simple way of formatting some of your text, making some things in bold, some in italics, uh, some things in separate quotations. Uh, it's very easy to do, and you can search on Google for a Markdown tutorial. And I'll try to get a, a resource for you in the notes on this video. Um, but one way to do that would be just, uh, well, let, let, me, let me backtrack. Uh, first thing you want to do would be to put down your title. And let's just say uh, this would be a dog portrait I did. And hold on a second. I'll need to use my remote keyboard because it's a little bit easier. Let's say dog portrait I did. I'm not going to actually post this yet because I want to space out my posts a little bit. I just posted a couple hours ago. But just as an example, you would just write down, you know, a little bit about it. Here's a dog portrait I did. Whoops. I did recently. And you can see here's a preview of what it would look like, the text. And let's say I want to make this text in bold. I can just add a couple asterisk in front of it and behind it and that'll actually make the text appear in bold that's just a simple markdown um, segment that you can use for that there's another thing I could do is put this little symbol in front of it this little arrow symbol and that actually puts it in a separate quote um, and there's a couple other things you can do as well in addition to that. But, you know, if you want to see that, you would want to um, look at a markdown tutorial. You can make italics and some other things too. Um, but anyhow, you just write the text. And then to put an image in, all you need to do is go to your file folder on your computer. And you can open up an image. And if I say, okay, I want to put in a certain image here. Let's see here. Okay, here, here's my dog portrait image. Just drag it over and drop it right into that box. And it'll upload it automatically. It'll put this little um, markdown or HTML code for you. But then the image will actually appear right there in your preview. And you can vary the size of your image too. This is uh, 750 pixels wide, but you can make it smaller if you'd like. I wouldn't go much larger than that just because uh, you don't want to make it hard for people to see on different devices. And so that would be it. You can put your image there and say, thanks so much for checking out my work. 
and so on. And then you can put your tags in right here and I would tag it to art. And you use a space for each tag in between, not a comma, but a space, art, painting, um, dogs, life, etc. You know, maybe, I don't know, steam it just so it goes on the general steam it page. And then I could click that and post it and it would be posted, which I'm not going to do right now. But just to give you an example, um, that's how you can do a post on steam it very, very simple. Let's uh, back up out of here. And we'll go back to my blog. And that shows all of my all of my particular um, posts again. But uh, anyhow, you know, you can see I haven't done a whole lot here. Um, just a few, maybe about a dozen. And I already have 44 followers. I'm following 15 people. And I can see how much money I've actually made by going to my wallet. And the nice thing about uh, Steemit is it's very, very transparent. So you can go and click on anybody, um, their, their username, and you can click on their wallet and you can actually see what they're making. So there's no secrets to anybody in this community. Um, so you can see my wallet and my estimated account value because even though I made like $50 on that one post, for all the people that contribute and make comments, they actually get 50% initially of the, the money I receive from it. So every, everybody kind of shares in this venture, uh, which is very nice. Um, you can comment on other people's work that's called being a curator. And if you produce your own work, that's called being an author. Um, but you can uh, comment on other people's work. And if your comment is valuable, it's insightful, it's well written, positive, all those different attributes, uh, you can actually have your uh, comment upvoted and you can receive uh, some of the monetary rewards um, from the other authors, which is very nice. But my uh, current account value is at ten dollars and seventy-seven cents. And again, you know, I didn't have to pay anything to get into Steemit. It's free to to join. And I just see this as another social media outlet. And Steam Steemit is very very young. It's only about a year old. Uh, so getting in right now is the best time. And if it grows and becomes more pervasive in use, I think there's maybe less than 200,000 users. Um, it could become the next Facebook, you know, so it's nice to get in with when something's very small. And sometimes it's easier to build influence, uh, gain a following, you know, when you're not uh, one person among, you know, thousands and millions of users. But anyhow, um, this is my, my journey for about a week. And I've been very, very, very happy with what's happened so far with Steemit. And so um, I would recommend that you would check this out yourself. So again, is Steemit a good platform for artists and musicians? I believe it is. And I would definitely recommend that you would check out Steemit for yourself. Uh, just kick the tires a little bit. Check it out first without logging in. If you like what you see on the Steemit network, open up an account for free and start contributing. Um, if you have any questions on this uh, relating to Steam, you can ask me anything. Uh, go to Jerry Banfield for more detailed information. And then uh, if you like this post, uh, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and I'll keep in touch with you. So have a blessed day and we'll talk to you soon.